did not actually get any clearance towards this quad stack box. Cutler able to find one worth Dell more, but Gen G's able to respond in kind. So we get left with a 2v2 situation. So Bros is still on top of the side. And oh my goodness, however, did GMT miss that shot? It will be traded back, but it comes at a pretty steep cost as Koost is down to 18 HP for a 1v1. Spike still currently down, but a spy cam is there to help him work this maybe a little bit more freely. And that should result in an opportunity for him to potentially get this spike planted. Just comes down it. to uh, Hayes' timing, and now that plant Dills does come through... Hayes lurking forward has... He knows exactly where this play is. Gets the spy cam deleted. Even 1v1. No armor for Hayes. A headshot would do it! And Kusta finds it on cue! Genji take the pistol and go up 1-0. You know, both teams are 7-2 and two on this map since we've started the Valorant Champions Tour. It's been a stronger defensive side, though, for TSM as they do get a bit more aggressive, trying to challenge over through showers. Sean tried to dive on in, and this broke down quickly. You also have Drone, who made the play through the teleporter to assist if necessary, but that would not be required, and now Gen G find themselves in a 2v5. TSM get the full heal up here as well, so everyone's going to be pretty healthy. It's going to come down to just the two more members. Maybe they can find a bit of a timing. Even through the wall, but it's not too bad in terms of damage. Gimon finds Wardell. Spike is technically down. I don't know how much extra damage Jinji can do here. Just Kusa with a Spectre. He's been surrounded as well. Knows he's in a lot of trouble. And TSM don't even have to really do too much here. They can just play for the time if they want to. It's Genji. They need to somehow recover the spike and do something. And Kusta, I mean, 50 seconds of just checking cameras and trying to spam into this wall. <laughs> Hoping, praying, seeing if the Valorant gods will favor him with the timing somewhere. And Kusta will be able to collect the spike, actually exchange his specters for one that actually had less ammunition than the one he was holding. And then here is the peak, but Kusta, not bad, does find one more elimination. So progression from TSM trying to get control of this ultimate orb might be long. And while the Seekers come through, here comes Win. He does have the blade start out, is not able to find Hayes, who locks down the site with two. And that will put a very steep stall to Gen G on this attempt. They're going to have to try to be a little bit more oh. controlled. And, well, they actually control themselves by standing on top of one another as Drone is able to line up a collab and a flawless defensive run. ESM don't quite know what Gen G are going to do. You do see one rotation, the Drone is coming over and Kush is down. That's oh, a big first blood for Wardell. The spike and all of this passive setup for Gen G is still over by Spice Mark. And then Sabrosa finds a second kill for the defense. Now Gen G is in a 3v5. And you have to really consider what exactly do you want to do. You don't want to just give up this round. But at the same point, how much do you spend trying to work your way in? Hayes, next one up, finds the kill that's on the spike carrier. Nanostorm to keep it safe. And now you're all of a sudden for Gen G in a position where you're just trying to fight for a couple of kills and maybe keep Michael onto this, uh, or pardon me, Mikhail onto this Vandal. Oh, rough timing. Yeah, Still get the kill into Cutler, so I mean, two kills. Safe for the time being in the timing of when this dissipates. Can he find an elimination? Sure does. And is able to tailwind away. Wardell trying to keep his life. Paranoia just to try to see if they can find an elimination. Win's going to go forward. Able to find the trade. And he gets a second. Are you kidding? This keeps the Gen uh, pretty the Gen G offense alive. Just comes down to can they successfully fully clear out Sabrosa, who has been eluding all of this Gen G offense until... He finally gets caught up by the Neural Theft, and that will be the end of him. And now TSM with the Seekers looking to retake into 2v4. And thankfully for that Neural Theft as well, otherwise Gen.G would have a little bit more issues to deal with. Still a couple of ultimates available for TSM. Seekers are gone. Locked down now. Can she going to be initiated? Counter Seekers to be flown in as well. That's pretty quick coming through from Sada Mikhail, who I think might be even be his second Seeker so far. Two versus three, definitely still doable, especially with GMD, GMD down. The lockdown will be in play. Genji has to make a move. Mikhail finds one, goes to 1v1, and Mikhail takes it! I think Genji are going to take this one a little slower. So got a couple mm. flashes available, and I do think they'll want to push in with a showstopper as well. It's been ready for a while. Oh, Sabrosa? Hello? I mean, he hadn't been spamming through that dark cover much at all, and then when he chooses to, he walks away with the kill. Wardell, another. The showstopper for Sean does find one elimination, but he's taken out simultaneously, and it comes just down to Guaman. No chance whatsoever. Sabrosa locking down lamps. But, well, it's not being tested all that much right now as Gen G have lost one and taken a lot of damage onto their Sky player. Mikhail's going to have to give this up. And as the re peek over towards Hookah comes through, TSM clean things up. Beautiful hold, only dropping one. This could be potentially pretty tough for Gen G as Seekers do roll out. Seekers start cover. There it goes. The Tailwind and Finn nearly comes up empty with the Blaze Room, but does find one instantly traded. Sabrosa, could he be tested? He's found himself a double thus far and has kept his life. Wardell trying to keep him safe. Just beyond the quad box. 
And so far, that actually puts Gen G in a bit of a corner. McHale's considering the plant, but as he wide swings, we'll find a couple more kills, and that will be a much more secured plant in the mix for Gen G. 2v3 in the retake. Seekers are out immediately. Cutler trying to get some information, but Hayes has to do with a tracking dart. Now point of contact on the outer. Cutler, good for one. Kusta response. And Kusta gets two at the end. A dicey take. A dice defensively just in case. There's the guiding light play. Win on the way forward. Wardell is going to be able to respond to this. He's actually avoided it so far. Sabrosa has helped for first elimination. The quick scope not going to be there. But Sabrosa through lamps is good for not just two, but three. Still holding his life. The defense rotating over. And Gen G are just down to two. Kusta lingering over by B will fall. And now time becoming a problem. Ten seconds. Win what would be a 1v4 situation. Has to try to stick for a plant. And as he does, Hayes makes the wrap, finds the seventh round for TSM, and we go to our half. No information towards showers. So let's see what Jinji can do with this type of information. Contact should be found pretty quickly onto market. It's Jet on Jet, and Wardell wins the 1v1. I mean, talk about clutch timing. Wardell lingering near spices. It's the sentry curd that makes him heads up, but Sean. Speaking of heads, able to find himself the first headshot to keep things in a 4v4. Gamond is also here to try to assist on this hold. And as we get a little dicey, goodness gracious, thought for a second Sean got both with the snapper, but it's Gamond for one. And we've got ourselves a 4v2 early. Kusta able to make it now just down to one. Good luck, have fun if you're a Cutler. Not going to get anything going in Gen G. Take more stack heavy and aggressive. That looks to be somewhat similar here as they are... Trying to get themselves some action towards B-Long, but it's Sean inside who could find first blood. Guiding Light comes out. Mikhail looking for information, and boy, did he find it. Cost him a bit of his health pool. Also seeing the wrist of Hazed was Sean. We'll find a second elimination, and Gen G, if you're a comfortable spot so far, is how many can Sean get is the question. Finds himself four. Trailblazer will give him the information. Do you give him the ace? Apparently not reveal. Does get flashed for a moment, just trying to play his life inside of Lamps. Gets the first point of contact, takes down Cutler. He even will find Mordell from the side. Plus four. Oh Are you God. kidding me? Kusta for three. Sean eventually gets there for the showstopper, and it's left the drone for a 1v2. He's going to try to quickly rotate through the teleport and get this spike planted, but there are players around him on both sides. He will get there just the nick of time, but it just comes down to, can he get to a position to allow him to actually successfully play this post plant? First point of contact, out of the tail, did. reads it, but the problem is you've got win from behind, and Gen G, oh my goodness. Change there was the guiding light for TSM, but the paranoia for Gen G. And now here comes the full hit through B-Long. Mikhail, first one up, already tacked down pretty low. Damage is still pretty substantial, but Gomond is also here. He finds himself too, but Sabrosa with that picked up rifle will find three, doing it one better. And now it just comes down to Kusta again. Gets the first. Knows that there's a second also still over towards B-Long, but for now he has cleared the site. And as you mentioned, the teleport will come through. And watching the rotation, well, that's going to be Hayes. He's already set up in a position to make sure that the A-Link stays safe. This is the real test now. They know that Wardell has gone through showers. Obviously, he's got the spike as well. Minimal time. He'll get the plant. No issues. Seems like the camera. Yeah, the camera is actually still on. Eh? So pretty huge. Kusta still has a decent amount of play with their full HP. Now, this is going to be where we see if Kusta can continue winning the clutch situation. It's very low HP on Wardell. One shot will do it. Hey, oh. can he find the timing? This is where they're getting a lot of chip damage as well. Off angles being taken here. Kusta has no idea. And Hayes swings through. Gets that kill in the shit. Just down to, can Gen G respond to this? No, Sabrosa, good for first point of contact. And so now TSM have made their way on Kusta. How heroic can you be here? Nanostorm was sent out, not going to find anything. He's going to allow the spike to be planted, wait for a bit of help. Delayed peak, finds one elimination, not going to get the second as Sabrosa doubles down. And now you look at Gen G with Sean on the long wrapping flank. But TSM also have Cutler who have cleared out showers. 3v4, showstopper still in play if required for TSM. Mikhail has made his way on. Wind trying to clear angles with the operator. Cloudburst will try to keep denial of a line of sight out of showers, and Sean's pinch is successful. Finds the first. Time becoming a bit of a problem, or is it? Just down to Cutler. Finds one. Needs to get the second and does. 1v1 situation. Gets the shoulder peak, and now plays the clock accordingly. Doesn't even need to. Cutler for three. TSM up by one. See if you can get him back near full health. And the problem is, I don't even know if TSM realized they've done damage because they probably expected, okay, we saw Kusta. There's no way he stays. He's going to move for sure. Because Wardell picks up the opening kill into Gimon. But what they don't know is they confirm a lot of damage. And there it is. Overkill even from Wardell. Drone's going to respond with even more. 
straight oh. into lamps. It doesn't matter. Well, Dell's got three so far, and this is gone. Jen, kick the sky beat. Did he maybe go towards caves? The one area they didn't check his caves. There's still five seconds to play with here, roughly. There's going to be a kill from Quinn. No, he dashes into another from Quinn, and hoping they can at least have a bit of a defense going with three. Just it does avoid. The Guiding Light misses the one tap. Second challenger was Gomon. Third challenger, Quinn. Only one of them going to find an elimination and wins down to just 65 HP. We have to catch some brilliant timing here if he wants to try to even the odds, at least as far as the numbers are concerned. So Broza locking things up through lamps, finds the shoulder, finds the headshot. TSM's hopes down, or probably up to a 4v1 situation. It's Gen G that's down to the solo player, and Mikhail, as he tries to come out of the dirt cover, will be dealt with. So maybe they would have just played the hero operator, which, you know, Quinn's got an operator now as well. What else picked up his again on his side with Cutler dropping it back over? So now as TSM start to make their play through A mid, Kusta has been paranoid. Guiding Light will also blind him up. Drone for first blood. Hayes dropping the lockdown and the take of the A site. Should be successful off this win. Thinking about it, will take the peak. That's the spike carrier down. And an opportunity here for Gen G to potentially start to fight this one back in a 4v4. So Broza has a potential timing here. There's no way. Yeah, Quinn doesn't know. Quinn is not going to check that angle either. Scoped in to look over towards showers. Going to confirm that no one else is in showers now either. Three versus four. At least the strong stop is available, but not if the pick comes through. Sean's down. That's the only big ultimate Genji had. Gone. Four versus one, and this is it. TSM are going to take map number one. There is no way Gimon does anymore here. Sub Rosa shuts him back, but he also threw out a shock dart, which does keep TSM a bit more honest through tree. And now the hit, or is it? Ooh. GMD from the corner inside the site finds two beautiful headshots. And now TSM getting pinched up from behind. Gen G flawless thus far. And it just comes down to Hayes for what would have to be a 1v5. You can tell that Genji weren't that concerned about towards B as well. Again, they had double members pushed up dying over towards B. Not the worst thing in the world. And now no Sean straight away. Way. A shift. Two tap into the dismiss. And that just might be the push. I mean, TSM down to three now. Was it a two tap or just the headshot call? I, I don't know, but I mean, that cannot happen. I was about to bring up the point that Gen G, yeah, you're up 2 0, but this is uh, third round where there, this is the weakest third round art damage. Not just on the one, but on the two different players now put into the yellow. TSM have not fully committed yet, but the Bladestorm has been earned by getting two of those ultimate orbs. Now the battle will start to ensue. Quinn really wants to hold on to this. Drone able to fight not just one, but two of his own up top of Ardell! Able to find the headshot on the double updraft play. So Gen G's in a 2v3 situation. Sean, do you want to Empress is the real question. Will be the first one forward to try to contest any post plant setup. And he does find one. Gets the dismiss. Cutler's only on 27 HP, but he's worked his way underneath. And has been completely concealed in the effort. Wardell's still holding long, is no longer just on a blade storm. He's got a vandal to work with. Nobody checks Cutler. Wardell watching over the top. Both will find an individual kill and TSM. Drone that is into A, and it's pretty clear right now. Drone's not going to get a kill here, but he'll confirm that the site is entirely free. Oh, okay, that's got to be a bit right. of tax coming from Mikhail. Okay. That's huge. The run it back finds absolutely nothing. You f essentially lose your follow up player. Hayes timing here. He will not actually get it on Acusta, who nearly. Gets the timing on the follow-up peak. But with the spike down and still a hunter spirit to play with, this would have to be a big piece of contact here for Kusta, who is just going to wait for more rotators for TSM. So this is going to leave Wardell on the site by himself. If Kusta can take down the Sova right around the corner, it would be massive, but he doesn't check it. Now the Hunter's Fury could be what is needed for TSM to try to hold this up. Into the site goes Drone. Finds himself one and a second. Could he get a third? No. But Mikhail running out of time. Recon Bolt comes out. Wardell will finish the final kill as he just kept lurking in hell. Rounds in a row. So we talked about potential timing for Sean. Timing's gone for Sean now as they try and rush their way oh. through A main and get destroyed by Drone. <laughs> Easy peasy. No problems for Drone. <laughs> yep. Clean it up. Put it away. Go to round number seven. Tied three. Up top. Will there be any timing on this peak? Al drones will be exchanged. Drone tries to make his way forward with run it back, but does get instantly denied. Mikhail from the side, able to find one, not a second. Rosa again. How many times is he going to be able to find the counter trade? We're on into the site, not going to get to Sabrosa either. And TSM once more successfully take the A site. And it's down to Huynh and his two comrades to see if they can find a way to try to retake. TSM have landed a lot of shots through smoke here, specifically onto Gimon. They also saw the shot through the floorboards. 
over to Huynh, and now the real shot from Ward Island to Huynh, they actually take some down, suppose, has full control so far, in towards the smoke, and the, well, I was gonna say, he was gonna push on to Sean and maybe get that kill, but Sean responds, and this is where Sean oh, wait, wait. he's got three kills, still got the evidence available, six shots available, can't quite get into Cutler now for the 1v1. Clutchler. Maybe holding it. Sentry turret still there. And oh no, Kusta jumps off the to his. Will he immediately use this to counter? Maybe it's just through giving off the informational read. Wind will be blocked out by the dirt cover. Up and over. Nice shots from Kusta, but he does fall. So no more defensive lockdown available. More spam shots to the dark cover. None will come at him. We go 4v4 from here. TSM will be allowed to get onto the B site and plan. And keep in mind that Sabrosa is still lurking mid map. That's so strange. Kusta held on to that. He could have just played counter lockdown, you know, pretty quickly there as well. He holds on to it, dies. I think maybe Ginger were thinking they'll just play for the retake instead, play the lockdown for the extra retake. But now that's gone, and that's going to take this a lot of effort now for Genji to do this. We still have the same Empress from round three, by the way, for Sean. If he wants to go for this round, it would be a good round for it. Hunter's Fury available from Cutler, but he's back site, so won't be able to use it offside. And a huge recon that reveals a couple of members. And Drone is able to convert onto one. Cutler, beautiful shock dart for a second. Sabrosa will give away his position in mid-market, but I just don't know if it's gonna make too much of a difference. Win has missed a handful of operator shots. Unfortunately, Strong's able to kind of make this a bit more respectable, but there was no drone. Early run it back, coming through. And he does find the first blood in a second. Beautiful snap onto Guaman. Around that TSM should be feeling pretty confident in considering the weaponry, but Sean with the Sheriff is definitely something to keep in the back of your mind. And it will be an operator to finally take him off the table. Wardell hoping for a second shot for the Cloud Burst just barely denies full line of sight. And so it's going to be a 2v4 situation that Gen G are going to be required to try to find a way to retake in, or at least make this punishing in some way. I mean, Genji looking for damage here, and well, right here. the name of the damage comes through from Sean, but Sean's been taken out already, so he's done his job in terms of at least getting one kill that might be the only kill though the rest of gen g hoping to find a few more on rotation out they know b main is safe so the rest of tsm will be leaving this way nano swarm's going to prevent mikhail from swinging also the long range bucky Quinn's going to get one gives drone a third kill so far this round and drone even using the running back you know part of me thinks was it an overcommit, but at the same time just having the safety get the round in there don't lose the pistols don't do anything you know where don't have any sort of weird situation that will cost you any more guns keep on his waiting and again we, we still have the lockdown from previous runs as well so really i think genji have the ultimates required to get this round underway here comes it under spirit which i don't know that's going to find too much but here some well dell's going to get that opening kill so it's a one for one so far and genji are going to use this uh, from the shadows to confirm game to the backside yeah it was kind of a delayed call on do we want to use the hunter's fury you saw the recon bolt re uh, was able to recover onto two players inside the boathouse but just a small hesitation, not really allowing the Hunter's Fury to find any kills, but it does create enough space to, like you mentioned, go 4-4. Sabrosa so still mid-map in this Owl Drone. If it scouts, it could be really bad. He's stuck in a corner at the moment, has to try to use the Stratus Step to get away, and boy does he! The dirt cover was there, but when's able to find the elimination. But TSM still bounce back, and they have rotated through the middle of the map and have made their way onto A successfully without contest. And that's the thing, right? Because Gen G really heavily rotated over towards B. Again, Gimon used the From the Shadows there, leaving Mikhail by himself. And what between a rock and a hard place, stuck over towards the three players coming from both sides. Cutler's going to see that the retake is going to be mainly heaven based. Glass as well. Again, this will be a good time for the Empress to come on through. Genji need to try and squeeze through two last rounds. Last two rounds for both teams is going to be a full commit. No one's going to be saving. No one's going to be letting this one go. Here comes the paranoia. Here comes the retake. And once again, Wardell over the top. The updraft peak plus one on the low ground. Looking for the full ace. He gets the right click. Wardell for five. And TSM. Gone 6-6 six, six minimum. If not, be 7-5 in favor of Genji. Want we'll to see what they can... Pull it together for this opening pistol now, Drone, with the opportunity for a big oh. flash, and he'll get it. Oh, and the simultaneous peek from Covey, but well responded to his Gen G, a beautiful recovery as they come on top of the trades. Hayes is still lingering just in case someone wants to rotate a crossover towards A, but that will not be the case. So now TSM will have to retake the B site in the 2v3. Gen G not fully committing as of yet. Hazed is considering this cloud burst, but as he waits, he'll dissipate. He's going to find one kill for free. Genji not even paying attention to mid market whatsoever. We've got ourselves a 2v2. Yeah, but Quinn's on three here. Would have to find an excellent timing if one shot lands. And oh my goodness, speaking of one shot there, that was brilliant from Quinn. Dashes away as well. 
And now Cutler's got a roll to do. 59 as well, and Kusa finding the hand. To try to use this as Sean has made his way onto the site, but there is no spike a part of this play. It's not as of yet. It's still on the way forward. Sabroza and Wardell trying to stay alive inside tree, but there's so much spam fire coming through. And well, Sean will have even pushed through that, gets the recovery and the overheal. Good help from Guamond and Genji. Wallace thus far, 5v2 situation. Hayes makes things a bit more interesting, but it's tagged up in the process. And it's going to have to be down to some beautiful shots. And, well, that's unfortunate. Drone actually flashes himself, trying to find a timing peak on Deshaun. Leaves thing down to one. Hayes, again, keeping things contested, but this would be a very difficult 1v3. And the touch spots him as well. There's a flank coming on through. Hanks is caught BC as well. Genji are trying to get onto site, and this could be an opening oh. kill. Some Rosa in the Kale trading one to one. But is one going to be enough? We got a pinch strike kill feed. It does favor TSM when everything's all said and done. Kusta, though, able to keep things out for 2v2. Up top, Sean trying to make a sneaky play, but gets denied. And so it comes just down to Kusta. 1v2 situation. Has a little bit of utility to play with. Double peek here from TSM. And well, Kusta's spray transfer not quite locked in. TSM win the right. No one from TSM can really challenge this one. Waddell's going to look for an entry. He's actually got a decent angle to play with here. He's inside the smoke as well, which is great. And Sabrosa has a kill. Run it back for Drone. Not going to find anything, but Sabrosa, like you mentioned, does find the first kill. One knife available for Waddell. Really flirting with disaster there. Does get taken down. Does go one for one overall. Win able to take down Drone after where he had initially triggered his run it back. Hazed is still up top. Potential for him to maybe sneak a kill on the planner, but the spike does get down successfully. Will that be win condition enough for Gen G? Still yet to be determined as Hayes finds another kill on the way in. A lockdown could be used defensively here. Win would be trapped underneath hell if that is the commitment. As they make their way forward, Cutler is able to find win, and now it's just down to Kusta. And he won't even get the better of Cutler. Goodness, he locked down the angle. Man. But it's not going to be that case. Pinching cross from Gingy here as well. Straight in oh. and Drone punishes. Oh my goodness, that's such a massive kill for Drone. Now Hayes playing from mid-market. Sabrosa lurking over to help. Oh boy. Do they get two tactical pauses? Because yes, I'm off guard. Al Drone comes right through. Wardell in a bit of trouble trying to spam. Has Sabrosa there for a bit of help. Wardell now a bit stuck. Or is he? Paranoia comes through. He's able to find one. Spamming through the dirt. Covers Sabrosa. Finds a second. And now it's just down to one last player on this hit. Which Kusta does successfully take the win. So this is still a doable 2v3. Especially if Cutler cannot find a way to contest win playing deep by A. And need another kill, and Drone's here to receive Whoa. as well. He receives a bullet to the head, holy! And TSM are just holding in garden. They see the information, but Kusta gets his third elimination. That's Knows the, the fourth player was nearby, has a lockdown if he needs it. Hunter Spirit's gonna come out trying to stall for as long as humanly possible. Can he find the connection? Sure does! Come Not through, and there it is. They should know now for sure it's A. Pixel Peak not successful. Sabrosa caught out inside the garden, has to back up by the recon bolt that forces him away. Now as it fades away, Sabrosa through the dark cover. How does he find one? Wardell gets one more. And now he's got the angle locked up. Him and Hayes combining. Last player left alive is Mikhail and no chance to get away. Lost two to the spike, which is just a bit of a blunder, an extra blunder. Genji backs against the wall. Match point for sure. Mid market. The door will be broken. Wardell's making sure no reinforcements can cross. Drone is the one responsible though for making sure that B stays safe. And boy has he. Finds first blood. Hot hands also in the mix. Cutler trying to work this with him, but not even going to be required. Wardell from the backside of the defensive spawn, able to use the Blade Storm for another elimination. We've got a 4v2. Make it down to just a 1v4. Last player left is Wint. Sees one. ADS taps are good. Still has some room to work with. No spike in hand. Still lingering over towards the defensive spawn alley. But timing here could still be good for him. Depends on how he clears this. He'll be traded. Should be traded. There's the first. Tailwind's away. Still an opportunity here with 20 seconds to go. The problem is that Hayes knows that the spike is down to the defensive spawn and there are no cloud bursts available for win. So we'd have to win one more full-fledged kill. Gets the spike into hand. Tries to bait out the peak. And he finds the shoulder, but no drone! 